Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Wanda Nohara. Previously in Wanda Nohara, we went to the Sea Kingdom, and we beat up a bunch of sharks. Wanda Nohara's father, huh? Too bad you don't get a close-up of that picture. Ooh, a piano. Also our father's. So I don't quite have uh, the full plot down in my mind, but I guess this is her house. And I assume she came back from some meeting of witches? Moy, Mika. Dolphy's short, huh? That's interesting. I see, I see a common theme going on here. Everyone seems to have it out for a certain shark. Let's see, close, close. Oh, if you, let's see, four beds, huh? No bed for Sakamichi? A music box. I think this is the room we saw in the opening. Just a lot less decorated and maybe a bit of a time skip. Well, let's go out into town. Alright, I guess I'll take a look around town. There's fish people here. Do they care that I've been slaughtering them for XP and gold? A mermaid wants it. That's actually a pretty cool concept, Mermaid Ninja. I like that. I'm gonna steal it and make a Michael Bay movie out of it. No trash can jokes, I'm disappointed. We do get awkward fish dialogue, though. God, Mogiko. You just love making big towns. A stronger body. A fish so swole. It makes swole Spongebob nervous. Wait, what? Demons. I know this takes place in the same world as the Great Garden, and I think all these games take place in the same world. I think this is the... the Sea of Tears. Or the Sea of Tears is at least somewhere in the vicinity of this, uh, ocean that we're in. Crabs aren't very talkative people. I guess you can say they're kind of crabby. There's even squids living here. Oh, bees. Just notice that. Go in there later. Mmm, bathing in beer. Why does everyone hate sharks? They're so misunderstood. Guns? Huh. I 
I mean, of course, sharks are predators, and they'd be eating pretty much everyone here, but... No reason to hate them, you know? It's... They gotta do what they gotta do. Which happens to be eating everyone here. I'm one shell of a guy. Yeah. I think that was... hold up. That looks like Mogako Castle in that portrait. Probably is. Fish? How many stories is this place? Ugh. Modos would get along with these people quite well. Oh, a treasure chest. And it's red. Seven shiny keys are needed. Hmm. Rahim Hampsons. Hay fever. Wait a minute. I recognize that. So the Mogekos are still around somewhere. I haven't seen any down here. I guess they can't breathe in the water. But they're there. Even if they're just on the radio. Dying of hay fever. Raham. Beef. Oh, there's so many. Such a huge town. And everyone's so friendly and nice. Oh, shiny key. It's a red light, green light. The game of life as a fish. Quite short and uneventful. Eventually you graduate college and you meet some nice shark boy. But you end up with the wrong crowd. End up in the wrong school of fish. big this town is. This is bigger than the Great Garden. I think I've 
finally explored every building, aside from the ones I have to go into. Maybe not. Oh my god. No, I have not fully explored the town. <laughs> Octopus dumplings, I'll dump on you. Crab guts, now I'm crabby. Squid snack, oh you no, know you squidn't. Okay. No more puns. I'm disappointed. Now that's my house right there, right? Yes, okay, so yeah, we've explored everything. Aside from the story-based houses. Okay, goes? Nope. So who is our first? Oh, look, a Mogiko poster. And it's... Mogiko? As in the creator. Hmm? Oh, long time no see, Tarako. What an Ohara! You're back. Yep. Was it okay? Did you get in any accidents on the trip? No, it was fine. Hmm. I was worried. I was spitting a lot of ink while you weren't around. G great Not loot at all. Oh, I know! How about I do that now? Hmm, I'll pass. Really? Maybe later. Right. Oh, yeah, earlier. I saw Senkichi. Uh, oops, I mean Samenkichi outside town. Eh? Uh -huh. He seemed really fidgety, but, oh, I see, maybe it was because you're back. I... I see. Hmm? What an O'Hara? What a sad face! Well, I met him earlier too. But he told me to leave. He's just shy and won't admit it. Sakamichi's... Samakichi's so difficult. You think so? Yes, I do! I proclaim so! Huh? It is so, Tarako said. <laughs> Thanks, Tarako. That makes me feel a little better. Good! That's good! Cause you're my friend, Wanahara, now let me spit ink on you! Yeah! Oh. Oh. I'll give you my proof of friendship! The Octo Kiss! Octo! I... I might pass on that, too. Aw, too bad. Why does nobody seem to like Octo Kiss? <laughs> hey, wanna know Hara? Play with me next time you're bored, okay? Right, I'd love to. Ugh. Okay, let's move on from there.
Let me just read your letters before actually saying hi to you. <laughs> Dear Big Sis, how are you? I'm great. I'm off to study on the land. Sorry this was so sudden. Every day is so exciting, because a lot's different from the sea. I don't think I'll be back for a while. But don't worry about me. I've got someone very kind caring for me. Don't nap too much, sister. Dear Big Sis, how are you? I'm great. How is it in the sea? The land is full of surprises. I can't stop being excited about this brand new world. The sea is vast, but this is really vast. Actually, the sea I think actually is more vast than land, but we'll get into that later. No idea when I might come back. I'll send another letter. Don't catch a cold, sister. Is that, that supposed to be Ariel? Dear Big Sis, how are you? I'm great. Feeling a little homesick for the sea. But nope, not coming home yet. The king here is very bright and funny. Not like the sea kings. I guess there are all kinds of kings. There's a lot I want to study still. So really, no plans for my return. Sorry, I'll bring souvenirs. Snails? Huh? Sleeping boy. Ah, uh, she's napping. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? Oh, Wanda Nohara. Good morning, Irina. When'd you get back? <laughs> Just now. Oh, welcome back. I'm glad. It must have been such a long way. Thanks. I thought you might never come back. Well, I would. Just like my little sister. Ah, that's right. Your sister is still abroad? That she is. Sheesh. Just vanishes on me one day. Well, at least I know she's okay from her periodic letters. Right. Don't be a bad girl and go vanishing. Will you, Wana Nohara? Okay. Anyway, knowing you made it back safely, now I can nap in peace. Want to sleep with me? Huh? No, that's fine. Oh? Because when we sleep together, you always squeeze me. I think I saw Pun Pun up here. He, he, he's a fish, apparently. Not a bird. Want an Ohara? Um, have you been well? I see. Welcome back. Must have been a long trip. Uh, thanks. But it was a great experience, especially for the future. We also grinded on fish. Ah, that's good. You rest now. Don't overdo it. Gosh, I've got everyone worrying about me. I'm fine. Well, you're really still a kid, so of course we worry. Ah, that's not true, is it? I'm a little taller. I meant in your heart. Uh... <laughs> There's good aspects to that too, though. Is that a compliment, or...? Of course. Jeez. Oh, that's right. Lobko should be coming home too. Ah, uh, really? I was worried for her. <laughs> it seems she's been having fun, though. Well, Lobko's a bit on the slow side. Same as you. Wait... Eh? Uh? But I'm glad to know you're both fine. I said I was... I wonder. Hmm... 
I'm trying to figure out what animal you are. I know you're some kind of prawn, I'm thinking. If Lobko's with you, and Lobko's obviously a lobster, then what are you? Hmm. I don't think you're a mantis shrimp or something. You're, I can't figure it out. There's some kind of pun with every name. I think almost every name translates essentially into what animal they are. From what I read, like Sakamichi in the original, his name was actually just Shark. That's what his name actually meant, just Shark. It was like calling someone, hey, Shark, hey, Dolphin. And it was changed a bit, so uh, I think they just, well, actually, no, they, they just kept the original uh, Japanese name. We know what the meaning is, but it just sounds a little bit better, I guess, than saying shark. Okay, next I'll visit the Coral Sea. Was the Coral Sea to the south, I think? Something like that. No, that's a sea god castle. West. Yep. So this is pretty cute and all, but where's the part where we see this all being torn up and destroyed by pollution and overfishing? And invasive species. I can just see how this, that's how the game ends. We solve the problem, we beat whatever bad guy there is. And then a giant, a giant, uh, uh, what's the, there's a term for it, it's like a, uh, it's the type of fish boat that basically cleans out the entire bottom of the seafloor, just kind of sweeps through and just grabs everyone up, ships them off to a tuna factory or something. How awful. And now I'm thinking about, ugh. Alright, now to check on... What? Who are you? What? I guess you're never a mermaid? But you've got these little mermaid ears instead. Hmm. And your ahoge is differently colored to match him. Now this is a moya traits. Well, aha! Uh -huh. Man, if he isn't Wana Nohara. Oh, Miura. Hey, you're back. Yeah, I just arrived. Man, I'm so, so glad. I was lonely, you know. Oh, have you seen my main squeeze? Your, um... Which one? Hey, Miura! Ah. Okay. You find her? Main squeeze Seguro! Nah, not here. Hmm. I, uh, meant the not Segura one. Yeah. No, I haven't seen her. Uh, huh. Hey, wanna know Hara? Glad to have you back. Yeah. Are you a sea snake or are you an eel? Hmm. Looks more like a sea snake to me. But the colors... Oh. Just where'd you go? Stuff's been, like, pretty extreme lately. Dangerous to act alone. Ah, that buffoon. We gotta find her soon. Yeah. Wanda Nohara. Know we just met, but help us find her. Right. Take care of yourselves. You got it. See ya. That's right. That's why I came back, isn't it? I wonder what happened. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Crab, crab. Ika chew. Wiener. Oh, this town is just getting bigger by the moment. 
What? What? Okay. There's some kind of pun there, but I don't get it. Those look like important characters right there. I'll come back to you guys later. That's an important area. Big ambitions. Let's hope they don't spiral out of control. I wonder if we'll find out if the princess is some kind of animal species that doesn't actually blink. And that's the explanation for that. Some kind of science, biology, uh, fact. Cremel? And Marino? Who may she be? Huh. What are you doing, guys? Hmm? Wah! Well, Donahara! You came back! Hey! It's Wanda Nohara. Oh? Oh, welcome back. Long time no see. This cast is so big. I thought Grey Garden's cast was huge, but this is... Nothing. I mean, um, Grey Garden was nothing compared to this. Hey, listen, Wanda Nohara. We were hunting for treasure, you see, and... It's definitely this way, right? Eh? No, not this way, that way. Eh? Who cares? Eh? Uh, sleeping gag. Eh? Uh -huh. Eh, yeah, gag. Has to be this way. I saw something sparkling. Not just your imagination? I didn't see it. Besides, your intuition is never accurate, is it? Is too. Is not. Hmm. Is to or is not. Yeah, it's not. Huh? Is to. Is totally to. Hey, don't fight. Yeah, you're, um, treasure hunting? Are you looking for the Mogiko? Yeah. The sea is a world of treasure. Gotta be good things to find. And thanks to you, we'll never find any of it. Not my fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Those eyebrows. Friendly bunch, huh? Fish needs glasses. Wabco, belts, anyone home? Now nah, I will steal your clothes. Huh, can't. So the till left. Books. 
What the? True, true. I'm just so worried. It's fine. No matter what, that goes on Donner, right? I suppose. No, certainly. Um, it's been a while. Hi, Cherry Blonde. Dolas. Oh, oh. My, Wanna Nohara, you've returned. Yes, ma'am. Long trip, huh? How was it over there? Hmm, how do I say it? It was a new experience. I'll bet. So, there's a whole ecosystem going on here. Uh, we have actual lobsters, a giant one no less, that can sink a ship with its claws. And we have these lobster people who can mate with lobsters to create more lobster people children. I don't know how it works, but it works. Wonderful. The world above. I know I've never left the sea. Hey, honey. It's not like Wanda Noharo is playing around. Oh, I suppose so. And our daughter's doing our best out there, too. Speaking of which, I'm at Lamco on the way here. Oh, is that true? Is my daughter doing all right? Yes, she seemed to be greatly enjoying herself. See? Just like I told you. Thank goodness. I was so worried. Maybe stretching the truth a bit, but I think she'd want that. And how about you? Anything on the way back to the Sea Kingdom? I slaughtered a bunch of fish. Ah. Uh, well, nothing in particular. I see, I see. Good. They've been acting up. Where are they coming in? They've been intruding all over the kingdom. I know. It's so dangerous. It's really worrying. If a giant lobster is worried, we know something's wrong. Yes, I've heard a little bit about it already. Um... It's a severe situation, is it? Hmm, yeah. Severe, maybe. Especially since I don't seem to want to lend an ear. So it seems, despite those long ears they have. Uneasy, Mana Nohara. Yes. It's fine. Don't think too deep about it. A few invasions here and there, but we have defenses. But... And you're here to fix the gaps in them, right? It's fine. Have some confidence. Right. You're the best witch RC has, and the only one. Thank you very much. I'll do my best. You sure will. When things settle down, I want to take a vacation. And go to the surface? Yes, I'd love to. Sounds difficult. Whew. Glad everyone's doing well. I heard it was pretty bad, so I was worried. But everyone looks fine to me. Thank goodness. Now for the castle. What was that sound? That way. There's actually a bit of a detail there, if you notice. The front door obviously cannot fish a giant- I mean, a fit a giant lobster. Fuck. <laughs> Got fish in the mind. But you can kind of see the lobster backs up the building at one point, And you see this kind of giant garage door entrance there, right there. So the house is actually specifically designed for our giant lobster friend. Things seem fine. Um... Oh. What's going on, guys? Guys! Ah, Wanda sided. Wanda Nohara, there was, um, uh... Some kind of sound. Let's check it out. Ah, the Sea of Stars. Because we have to take everything literal in this world. 
Oh my god, it really is a sea of stars. <laughs> what the? No. No. It doesn't work that way. No. Hey look guys, the sea of stars is filled with starfish. Of course. If you wanted to have like a grim interpretation of all this, you could assume that this was actually a normal coral reef. And these are those little spiky starfish that eat coral and they just took over and ate everything. And now it's a graveyard. Flapjack. What? Why are those sea bunnies? Uh, wanna know Hara? Bad news. <sighs> mm -hmm. Please, calm down. Kill. Kill them all. Something certainly went down here. Well, what would, what would tell you that? All the dead bunnies everywhere? It's scary. Ah, uh, is she going nuts again? Never forgive. Never. The ones who disturb our seas moral fiber. All of them. Oh, I guess we're getting invaded by bunnies. All of them will die. Hey, Alicia, calm down. Shut up. Uh, I'll stab you with this drill. Ah, uh, she's lost it from rage, dude. Uh, oh no. We have to stop her. <laughs> Spin on. This doesn't sound like a boss fight theme. Masa still just die as easily as before. Gah. Helica, please calm down. Hmm? Hmm? One in the... Helica, let me squeeze. You're back with us. Hmm? What's this about? It's nothing. You just slaughtered a bunch of the evil bunny people with your drill. It's actually pretty cool. That's a pretty cool weapon. Did I do it again? You sure did. Told you not to go alone. Dude, I was so worried. Hmm. Sorry. I just saw them and... Uh, dang, dude. Helica... Wanda Nohara, you're back? Yes, um, are you okay? No problems here. There were lots of them. But that's all they've got. Mm hmm, bad habit. The blood rushes to my head whenever vile criminals appear. She's so scary. When the criminals appear, I appeal with justice and my drill. Spin on! Sorry, Wana Nohara, but it's a good thing you're here. Now, we can hold back Sosatsu's kingdom's invasion. I don't want more conflict.
Wait a minute, you're not a mermaid at all. What? What are you? Maybe you're kind of a mermaid. Couldn't get much sleep. Oh, just look at me. I've got to be positive. At any rate, I need to do the best I can and when I can. Yes, for the sake of our sea. Cheer up, Wada Nohara. Look how adorable you are in that hat. So that's it for Wada Nohara, part two. Well, we've managed to have our introductory town area part done. And we've met some more characters to make our cast quite huge. At this rate, I'm assuming we're going to have pretty much every species with some kind of human version at some point in this game, as far as the character goes. Anyway, so, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for part 3 of Wanda Nohara.